Good evening, everybody. KB5MIQ Big Boy with a uh, take two of <laughs> this review video. An old ham radio cat's uh, passed out here on my lap, which I'll see her sitting there. Guys, we're doing a review on the MFJ4712 two position antenna switch. All right. Antenna switches are new to me because I have, as long as I've been in this hobby, I've never used one. I know some hams that do use them. Uh, Kent just built a big one for his station, but I've never used one. Never even really paid any attention to them. Uh, this one is the 4712. It's a two position antenna switch. This is the part that mounts out on your antenna, on your pole. And what antenna switches do, they let you run multiple antennas through one run of coax. Well, you don't want to have a run of coax like my shack is set up with for every antenna. This mounts on your pole. You got a transmitter connection for your one run of coax to run back to your shack. Antenna one, antenna two. And you mount it just like that. Or it's facing down so rain won't build up on the connections. When you get into the shack, you have this control unit. And you've got a antenna one, antenna two switch, uh, RF in and RF out and 13.8 volts input. All right. I highly recommend downloading the instruction manual for any piece of equipment, especially this one. This one to me has a little bit of a learning curve uh, and it's probably, people that are used to these wouldn't think nothing about this. I'm not used to them. When you use antenna one, you don't have any voltage applied to it, all right? Just use antenna one. If you want to use antenna two, you switch it to antenna two, then you plug your 13.8 volts to it, and that makes it switch to antenna two. You'll see I've got a video I'm going to clip on here of me actually using this, and I've got an SWR meter hooked up, and I'll close up where you can see that all of SWR was good. And I was using it on two VHF antennas, two different vertical antennas. Uh, if I was going to mount this permanent full time, I would have me a toggle switch here on the power instead of having to physically unplug it. Other than that, that's the only oddity I've seen about it. Uh, I've seen these mounted where the bigger ones actually have to have a control cable run along with the coax. So I'm not that familiar with them, but this one did work and it appears to work just fine. Plus, you I figured to plug the video in where you'll see it in use. Very reasonably priced. I believe this one on the website is like $109.95. Uh, looks to be well built. Two position antenna switch. Gives you a couple options there. Like if you're running a, like VHF antennas, you don't have to physically remove an antenna each time. Just switch them back and forth with that. I think MFJ's got some really good products in this area. They've got several different sizes of antenna switches. Uh, some of them hold six, eight antennas. Of course, they comparably go up in price. But if you're building a shack from scratch and you want to uh, look at something like that, uh, maybe you don't want to buy a lot of different runs of coax. Maybe it'd be easier to just run one run and switch. I think it'd be well worth looking at. I uh, say so do get the manual to follow it and be sure to apply the voltage at the right time that you use it with. And if you're going to permanent mount it, I would suggest figuring out a way to put a switch on the voltage you have to physically unplug it. Uh, I want to thank MFJ for entrusting me with doing these reviews. I've always used MFJ products long before I got into YouTube. Uh, and they've been in my shack since 91, of some manner or another, with an MFJ product. Uh, be sure to check them out on their website. And I want to thanks again for letting them let me do the, for allowing me to do these reviews for them. I've got some MFJ uh, portable HF antennas and a mast. We're going to you will do a uh, mini field day in May and be a review video coming on those. 
Thanks again, everybody who subscribed to the channel. And I'm clipping the uh, section on here with uh, the, uh, I, I'm getting my head on straight. That's actually operating here with using this switch. Thanks again, everybody. It's KB5 in my cubic bowl, same three. KL5BZO is KB5 MIQ. All right, we'll be standing by. Yeah, we'll be standing by. Okay, Eric, I appreciate it. I'm on antenna one right now. Um, I, this is a shorter vertical. I'm just on a mag mount. I was just seeing how good it was getting in. All right, David. Well, I'll tell you what, I was sitting there looking at the meter. Uh, with that antenna one, I'm, I'm showing you to be an S. Uh, coming through the repeater here in Texas County. Okay, uh, let me switch antennas. I'll call you right back. Cal yeah. 5 BZO, KB5 MIQ. Okay, Eric, I appreciate it. Both of these antennas aren't near as high as that uh, Yagi I'm normally on, but I'm uh, shooting a review video for this uh, MFJ 4712 two-position antenna switch. I wanted to try that out. Eric, I appreciate it, and uh, you'll get to watch yourself and hear yourself in a video here in a day or two. All right, Roger, Roger. Well, David, uh, anything we can do to help out, and uh, any way that we can Good to chat with you. I hadn't been on here in a while. So anyways, good to uh, good to have you so with you. Uh, anyways, uh, good luck with the rest of your video. And, uh, and I'm sure I'll watch it here in a day or two when it gets posted. Uh, KB5MIQ, this is KI5BZO. We'll be clear. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. KB5MIQ, same three. Okay, that's... KB5MIQ. N5 LQV, this is KB5 MIQ. I can't remember. I was wondering what the QTH was. Uh, the reason being, of course, that you really can't tell much difference through a repeater. But, uh, you know, if you try Simplex, that might give you a little better idea of the uh, antenna's capability there, if that's what you're after. Okay, well, actually, I'm checking out an antenna switch. I'm doing a review on a two-position switch, and uh, that's really all I was checking out. I, I'm normally on a Yagi 50-foot in the air when I'm on Simplex. And it's just a couple of smaller, shorter antennas I use in inclement weather, and that's really all I'm checking is the switch. I appreciate it, though. Okay, I sure appreciate it. Thanks a lot. KB5 MIQ, 73. Okay, that's using the switch. I'm going to do a close up on the SWR meter. Okay, this is just going to be a quick key up. You can see my SWR meter. Not hardly moving. It's got a good SWR. Let me put the other one back on there. Hang on one second. Okay, there we go. SWR needle's barely moving. So, only thing, if I was going to use this switch full time, well, I got the camera turned off. <laughs> if I was going to use this switch full time, I would rig up a switch on the uh, power to it because in order to switch from antenna one to antenna two, antenna two requires 12 volts, and that's when you have to put the power on it. Antenna 1 doesn't require the 12 volts. That's the only difference in it. So we're going to halt that for a minute. 